Hello, in this video we're going to look at some exam review questions that relate to the Consumer Price Index. So question one. Over the last 12 months, the Consumer Price Index increased from 140 to 150. What is the inflation rate over this time period? So to calculate the inflation rate, we're going to use a percentage change formula that looks at the ending value in this case, the last value of the CPI here is 150 minus its starting value divided by its starting value. And then to get it out of decimal format, we'll multiply it by 100. So 150 minus 140 is 10. 10 divided by 140, then multiplied by 100, gives us an inflation rate of 7.1%. Question 2. The CPI in the base year always equals it will always equal 100. Question three, the base year is 2002 and the CPI today is 188. How much did the average level of prices rise in this economy since the base year? So a few things. In the base year in 2002, the CPI is 100. Today it is 188. To calculate the inflation rate over that time, we are going to use the percentage change formula. So 188 minus 100, all divided by 100, and then multiplied by 100, we get an 88% increase in the average level of prices. Question four. The CPI in 2015, 2016, and 2017 were 160, 170, and 180, respectively. What year did the economy experience the highest inflation rate? So to calculate the inflation rate in 2016, we're going to calculate the percentage change as we go from 160 to 170. So again, your ending value here minus your starting value divided by your starting value all multiplied by 100. The inflation rate for 2016 is 6.25%. We don't have enough information to calculate the inflation rate in 2015 because we don't have the CPI for 2014. Anyways, the inflation rate in 2017 is going to be the percentage change in the CPI from 170 to 180. So 180 minus 170 divided by 170 multiplied by 100, we get an inflation rate of 5.88%. So this economy experienced the highest inflation rate during 2016. Question 5. The CPI in 2018 was 220. The economy experienced 3% inflation in 2019. What is the CPI in 2019? The CPI in the current year will equal the CPI last year multiplied by 1 plus the inflation rate. So the CPI last year was 220. The inflation rate was 3%. So 220 multiplied by 1.03 means that the CPI in 2019 must be 226.6. Question 6. If the CPI ending this year was 128, and the economy had 4% inflation over the year, what was the CPI last year? So similar to question 5, the CPI in the current year equals the CPI last year multiplied by 1 plus the inflation rate. So we know the CPI this year is 128. We need to solve for the CPI last year and 1 plus the inflation rate. 1 plus 0 0.04 is 1.04. And I'm just going to divide everything through then by 1.04. Doing that, we solve for the CPI last year at 123.1. All right, question seven. We have in two goods in this economy, haircuts and tea, cups of tea. We've got their respective prices and quantities purchased in 2018 and 2019. With 2018 as the base year, calculate the CPI in 2018 and 2019. So as we learned before, the CPI in the base year should be 100. And the CPI in 2019 
will equal the current cost of the base year basket divided by the base year cost of the base year basket. So the base year is 2018, so those quantities represent the base year basket. So I am highlighting those in bold here. So in 2019, their current cost of that base year basket is 12 times 6 plus $2.10 times 100. And then the base year cost of that fixed basket, you're going to use the base year prices, 10 times 6 plus 2 times 100. Simplifying that, the numerator is 282, the denominator is 260, multiplying that by 100, the CPI in 2019 is 108.46. And our last question here, question eight. Same goods, same prices and quantities. We're just going to flip things here. Let's say 2019 is now our base year. Let's calculate the CPI in 2018 and 2019. So the CPI in 2019 will be normalized to equal 100. The CPI in 2018 will be the current cost of the base year basket. And here, since the base year is 2019, I'm highlighting those quantities in bold. And then we're going to divide it by the base year cost of the base year basket. So in 2018, the current cost of that base year basket or fixed basket is 10 times 5 plus 2 times 105. And then the base year cost of that base year basket, so the base year cost, Base year is 2019, 12 times 5, plus $2.10 times 105. That simplifies down to the fall, following, and that'll equal 92.7. So the CPI in 2018 is 92.7. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.